I remember you, Iron uh, Patriot, yes. first appearance, Dark Avengers, 2009, yeah. written by Michael Bendis, drawn by Mike Diallo yes, Jr. Yes, yes, I met him down the block a couple blocks, wow. and he, he right. won my heart right away because he knows that I'm the Norman Osborn, a.k.a. Green Goblin. I, I stole the Iron Man suit, painted it red, white, and blue. I tricked America into thinking I was patriotic. That would be a good movie, wouldn't it, Mike? Wow. Oh man, what, what, what do you, what, what, am I too old when my childhood is talking to me and I don't know what to say <laughs> back to it? Why did Dad leave us again? Why, why, why was Papa in the driveway? <laughs> but, but Mike, let me say something about your life. I was reading today. At the age of sixteen, you started working at a McDonald's in Florida. You, you learned how to deal with hecklers because there was people calling. This is my McDonald's. guardian angel, by the way. He's supposed yeah. to tell me not to commit suicide yeah, on Christmas. You, you learned how to deal with hecklers. People in the drive-thru were calling for McNuggets. Now, it took you over 10 years to get your career going. Uh -huh. now, now, what I want to say is, last September, you wrote an article for the Huffington Post, and this article was titled, The Five Things I Learned from Doing Comedy in New York City, and I'd Pass Along to Younger Comics. What are those five points? Because these comics would love to hear it. I mean, well, first off, it's weird because your voice sounds like everyone who was mean to me in a drive through <laughs> Like, just the quality of it. <laughs> I just like, I, I guess I should answer your question, but also give you a McRib. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, well, the first, I, I don't exactly remember, but one of them was about how um, you should only be bitter about the things you're eligible for. I think that's really <laughs> important for comics. I mean, I have been skipped by BET Comic View for the past <laughs> five years, despite incredible floppy pussy jokes, and I don't know why. Um, another another was have a life outside of comedy. I, I have a fiancé, and um, I'm the first person to look like this and say that. Um, that's an achievement <laughs> in itself. Right, Jesus? Yeah, you found someone yeah he does look <laughs> just like, like jesus he too. doesn't he yeah, yeah it doesn't look jesus nephew or something yeah <laughs> it's like why did they stick me to the cross because i stole a hacky stack and said <laughs> dave matthews band's last album was so poor <laughs> <laughs> But don't be a stormtrooper. You want to you want to be able to stand I'm out. My, I'm so much. You know. And the, look at look at Iron Page. He's not dressed as one of the henchmen from the 1966 <laughs> Batman. He's not a dude in a shirt that just says Bob Number One. That, he's a fucking villain yeah. who tricked people into being thinking he was a like superhero. A minute ago, he was talking about how he he irons wearing that. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Nobody really got that. Thanks. Well, no, because it wasn't that funny. Any, any Iron Man. Well, thank you for mentioning that. 
I, I got it. I got it. That was By funny. the way, Patri, you didn't even realize that you said it and it was funny. So. But that would make you the ironing patriot. Yep. <laughs> the ironing patriot. <laughs> if you did it in that suit. Oh, he Tony does starch. iron flags all day. What's that? Tony Starch. When I, when I oh, oh, nice. Yes. Wow, look at you, buddy. Yeah. By osmosis, it's rubbing off on me by osmosis being around you guys. Well, yeah, of course. It's about time you say something funny. It's been 33 weeks. Uh, <laughs> I love that the girls pretended to get that joke. Oh, Tony Stark. <laughs> Here's my headshot. Uh, <laughs> How the fuck did you? That's really funny, Patriots. I love about LA. If they won't wow. laugh, they'll fake laugh. It's awesome. Yeah, I could tell how excited he is right now. Normally, he doesn't make this hard of eye contact with me. Like, he's just looking at me, being proud of him. He's, yeah. I'm on my way now, telling me. Oh my uh, god. Uh, then he ruins it by being creepy. What would be great is if every week he tries to make that Tony Starch joke, but there's no context <laughs> right. for it. He's like, what the fuck? It's yeah. like, the y'all ready for this guy? Like, <laughs> I had my moment and it's gone. Timothy Cash, fuck yeah.